Hello and welcome everyone. This is your guide, Ryan Phoenix. Can you climb back on board the bus? We continue the tour of Resident Evil. We last left off here in the basement kitchen. And... Oh. There's a zombie on the floor there. Well, actually we don't want to go that way. I want to go this way instead. We head over here. Uh, back that way there is an, actually an elevator, which I'll show where it ends up later. But we're going to go through this door instead. And get another creepy cutscene. Of something coming through the door! Yeah, apparently having some trouble with the door. There you go, buddy. There you go. You got it. You figured it out. And what creepiness is this? Ah, oh, just another zombie. That's okay. Good try, guy. Good try. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Now that we got him out of the way, let's go through the door. Uh, we're gonna be taking a uh, bit of a, uh, <laughs> a nostalgic path here in a minute. In a minute, so we're gonna head up the stairs here, and let me know when you figure out where we're ending up. Just let me know. Just shout it out in the comments below. You let me know. All right. Uh, if we look over here, this thing right here is the elevator shaft, but you can't get on the elevator from this floor. Now we go over here, and yeah, we can unlock this door. Apparently it was only locked from the other side there, but let's see where it ends up. Alright, we are back in the hallway. Uh, dang, I missed very badly there. And got hit twice. Ah, dang it, reload on this thing. Uh, keep on forgetting that this one doesn't reload automatically. These hunters might not behaving themselves at all. Dang, that was way too much ammo for that. Shame on me. Okay, alright. But yes, we are back in uh, the room where we first met the first zombie, right here. Much down on somebody, I can't remember the guy's name. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> Shame on me. But we head out here, we're back in the dining hall. Alright. So, what are we doing here? Well, we're gonna make our way back around upstairs. We're gonna get, gonna get me a gun. <laughs> now we're working our way towards that, at the very least. We got a few things that we can do around upstairs. Uh, there are shorter ways of handling all this there, and uh, getting this next weapon that we're gonna be getting is going is optional. Again, if you're going for time, don't worry about this. If you're going for fun, let's have some fun. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm going to try to run around a lot of the enemies here because I don't want to use up too much of my ammo there. I used way too much on those two hunters. There should have been like four shots and done, but ah, man, just was not working out for me that, that time. Alright, probably going to take a hit here. Yep. But I'm going to get around you, run, and I'm going to make my way to the store. <laughs> This time, I think I am going to finish this one off here. Let's see. There. Where is he? There he is, there. Let's go ahead. Bad Hunter. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to go around here. And we got two doors that we couldn't deal with before, but now we can. This door here, we just need the helmet key for. And we can now get rid of the helmet key. Nice. Hooray for clearing up that inventory. I only got one shot left with Zuka. That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's go ahead and see what's behind door number one, shall we? Alright. Yeah. Looks like a taxidermy room here, sort of. Got paper on the table. Let's check it out. Orders. Top secret, July 22nd, 1998, 213. To the head of the security department. X Day is approaching. Mega Man X Day? Nah, nah. Complete the following orders within the week. 1. Lure the members of STARS into the lab and have them fight with the BOW in order to obtain data of actual battles. What? Wow. So, so they were intending for us to come here? Number two, collect two embryos per BOW type. 
making sure to, to include all species except for tyrant. Uh, tyrant, there we heard about the tyrant virus, there the T virus. 3. Destroy the Arclay lab, including all researchers and lab animals in a manner which will seem accidental. White umbrella. Oh wow. Uh, so, apparently Umbrella had this all planned out. Oh, okay. Well, got some movable stairs there. But we also have... No, I think I see something useful there. <laughs> Don't lie to me, game. Uh, well, we got the Magnum rounds here, first of all. Not the thing that I was going for that time. Come on, I, I see. It's right there. <laughs> Stop telling me that there's nothing useful when I have these shotgun shells staring me in the face. Speaking of, there we'll go ahead and uh, reload and no, no, back off there. Equipped the shotgun. Okay, uh, go. Nope, don't nudge it that way. Let's go ahead and give the stairs a little nudge this way. A little bit more. Okay. Now, oh, well, we have this big old obvious light switch here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Will I push it? Sure. Ah, even had it go down there. Nice touch, game. Nice touch. Now if we look over here. Oh. Something shiny up there. I do enjoy shiny things. Let's take a look at it. Will you try and take out the eyeball? <laughs> when you put it like that, why would it die? Will you take the red jewel? Yes, we will take the red jewel. You might remember our ways back when we got ourselves a blue jewel. Well... We are actually going to be using the red jewel in a very similar, almost the exact same manner, you might say. And uh, will we push the switch? Yeah, yeah. Don't need to, but why not? I'm going to do it anyway. And now, leaving this room, we have another door to check out, so let's go ahead and take a look at it, shall we? Okay, this one has, like, the number keypad. You guys remember the passcode that Barry gave us earlier? Well, you didn't need to remember it there, you just had to have it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah. I, was, I guess there's not really a reason to make us put in the key, put in the code there, but it seems like something that we should have been forced to do. Seems like it to me, at least. Can I go around you? Nope. You're just gonna come and say hi regardless. Uh, boom. Okay. Uh, that guy there, I don't trust him. I don't trust him one bit, so I'm just gonna make sure to go around him in a very long, long way there. <laughs> okay, around the corner here. Oh, another zombie. Hi, buddy. Yeah, maybe I was waiting too, too long for those guys to get close to me before. How am I on health? Uh, uh, I think, yeah, I think I go be coming back to this room if I remember right, so I won't worry about picking anything up right now. But just in case, I have those few herbs I can grab, if need be. Alright, another hallway here. Huh. Come on, we haven't been down yet. Oh, the more zombie fun. Boom. <laughs> Let's go and check out this door here, before we explore more of this hall. Inside here. Ooh, I see something I like. Something I like very much. Let's go ahead and grab these. Here are the explosive rounds on the shelves. Something I definitely need here. <laughs> As I'm not doing too well uh, with my uh, bazooka ammo saving, whatever you want to call it. Ammo cons consumption, conservation, a little bit of both. <laughs> Let's go ahead and reload that a little bit. And sitting on this chair here, we have a battery. And just in case you weren't sure what to do with the battery there, this plow tells you, hey, I can move that elevator in the courtyard. And I pointed out in, I believe it was the last episode, yeah, it should have been the last episode, where there was an elevator, uh, another elevator, back by the uh, garden area where those dogs were, that you couldn't do anything with because they needed a battery. Well, now we've got a battery. Hooray! Alright, just a little bit more to check out back here. And we go over this way. This is the elevator that I was talking about before. If you went uh, to the other side of the kitchen, there's a little elevator. It would have taken you right up here. So, hooray. We're back where we would have been if we did that. Okay, another zombie there. We're not gonna, not gonna worry about him. He's cool. He can just hang out back there. He's not bothering anybody. 
Now this guy here, this guy's, this guy, he's bothering people. Look at him, he's bothering people all over the place. Shame on him. I got ourselves another lock desk. What's inside? Let's see. Of course, I will use the lock pick and grab these magnum rounds. Sweet. Twelve magnum rounds. Not bad. Not bad. And we got more in the safe deposit. So let's go ahead and make our way around here. Go over here. Oh. Hey, buddy. Bam. It's getting a little too close for comfort. Uh, what were you guarding here? A scrapbook. Huh, at the same time, odd for you to be worried about. Wrecking Times, May 27th, 1998. Animal attack? Woman mutilated. May 20th, around 10 p.m., a 20 year old young woman, woman's body, was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the Cinder District of Raccoon City. Raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly or other animal's doing because there are teeth marks along the mutilated along her mutilated arms and left foot that show considerable power. Hmm. Since she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arclay Mountains and fell into the river. They are hurrying to identify this woman. So just because she was wearing a hiking boot, she must have been in the mountains. I could be wearing hiking boots right now and I'm nowhere near any mountains. <laughs> Raccoon Weekly, June 16, 1998. Monsters in the Arclay Mountains. Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arclay Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as large dogs, and usually run in a pack as wolves do. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them. That's uh, kind of... Uh, I kind of like that the dog won't really go after you immediately if you're not in like right in their uh, vision range there. Uh, I kind of pointed that out while we were walking around them, uh, avoiding them in the last episode. So you smart readers should stay out of the Arclay Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for adventure, check it out! You want to try? Huh, that sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen. <laughs> ah, I read in the newspaper there though. You know, it's going to be a fun adventure. You know, nothing to worry about there. Raccoon Times, July 9th, 1998. Mystery on the Arclay Mountains. Mountain Road blocked. Due to the successive disasters in the Arclay Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, Raccoon Police intend to begin their search for the lost people with the help of STARS team members. They expect great difficulty because of the vast size of the Arclay Mountains and the primeval forest that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. Da da da. So yeah, if you didn't remember the intro there, that's where we are. We are in the Arclay Mountains. The mansion in the Arclay Mountains. So, yeah. Hmm. I guess it, we ran into a couple of grotesque monsters here and there. Perhaps. <laughs> Alright, there's a little bit of an optional thing here. If, uh, you know. Stri uh, strap for time, don't worry about it. Let me push this bookcase out of the way and reveal a door. Let's take a look inside. Now, because I'm kind of hurting for inventory right now, uh, I'm not going to worry too much. There's a clip on this shelf here for like the regular pistol ammo and an ink ribbon there. But what I wanted to show off was if we walk over here, we can look over the courtyard from here. It's a helicopter port. If I could contact the others, the other members from there. Dot dot dot. Well, sounds like we got ourselves a mission. Or an objective. Or something. We got something to do. Let's do that. Let's work towards that. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, we do have a helicopter floating around waiting for us, presumably. Okay, well, there's another area that we can go to from here. Another door. Let's check out. Let's see what's behind this door. More books. So many books. Okay, well, I think that we just want to go up this way. Statue in the way a little bit. Let's give it a little bit of a push. Huh, this looks interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yeah, of course. Oh, now we got a spotlight over there. Well, let's go ahead and push this statue over into that spotlight. Let's see what that does. 
Probably nothing, nothing at all. Now I have to wonder how the person that made all these little traps and puzzles and whatnot, like how they d came up with these things. <laughs> how was this designed to work like this? The world may never know. But we do have a little cubby hole opened up here. And way on this desk we have the MO desk. Disc. Not desk. Disc. Uh, what exactly is that? Can we gather anything from checking it? Uh, side A. Side B. That's a bootable system. Hmm. Overload system. <laughs> uh, Alright for pixel. Pixel uh, <laughs> words there. I don't know. Pixel letters there that you can barely make out, if at all. <laughs> it seems to be a startup disk. Okay, so we're gonna have to check out what that does at some point in time. Not right now. But soon. Or maybe not soon, but eventually. Or maybe soon. You'll just have to wait and see. That's all that we can do here. So now we're going to make our way back out, down, and around. We're going to finally get my my baby. We're going to get go get my gun. <laughs> ah, well, the shotgun's probably more my baby there, but you know, I do I do enjoy this gun. Let's go ahead and go get ourselves some new firepower. Why don't we? Right, I believe I want to head this way back through this hall. How are we doing on space? Are we completely full? full now, I do believe. Yeah, yeah, we are completely filled on inventory space. Okay, oh. Well, that body's still here. Yeah, yeah. Like I said before, I don't trust you. So I'm gonna go around. <laughs> and yeah, that body would come to life if you were to get too close and grab your foot. And, you know, I just don't want to deal with that. Let's not deal with that. <laughs> Alright, now we're back in this hallway here where we fought one of the hunters there that I failed to shoot initially. Uh, do I want to have... Well, let's go ahead and get this on just in case, but I plan on doing a lot of running there. If you're following along, prepare to do a lot of running as well. You might remember this loop from a ways back. There. But now, instead of zombies everywhere, we've got hunters everywhere. And yeah. They're gonna take swipes at you, and hopefully you'll be lucky enough, like I was, to avoid said swipes. I'm gonna go down this way. Jump scare! <laughs> ah, like I made it around him all right there, but he's gonna get me on the way out. I know he will. <laughs> but, yeah, we're back in this room with the tiger statue, where we put the blue jewel in way, way back when ourselves. Uh, I believe this is the wind crest. We're getting outside. And this time we put the red jewel in, completing our tiger uh, statue. And for our troubles, we will get the cold python. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> now we have something to put those magnum rounds to use with. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Definitely gonna be utilizing that. And now our tiger friend is looking very nice, very nice. And now we're gonna go out this room and we're probably gonna get attacked. Uh, do I wanna use the bazooka ammo? I think I'm gonna just make a run for it and take the hit. Yep, yep, like that. Don't get hit again. Nope, alright, we're good, we're good. <laughs> alright. Now, yep, we're back down this familiar hallway once again. Doesn't this look familiar? Just a tad. Just a tad. So many times can we go through the same dining hall. <laughs> and now we're going to make our way. Uh, I think that I want to go upstairs and around. We're eventually going to make our way back outside to utilize that battery. Uh, but I think that I want to make my way to the safe room first. The safe room that's right near there. The uh, safe room. Uh, underneath the stairway. You'll see what I mean here, here in a minute. 
but now, uh, just trying to think if this is the uh, better way to go. How's my health? And I'm in the yellow, fine. That's alright. That's alright. Now, what's the best way to deal? Because I know that I'll have some hunter friends coming. Let's get him. Just run right into him. That's the best way to deal with him. Oh, it's alright. We just need to get to the store here. I think that we might have one more hunter to deal with, but this one I think that we are going to take care of. Sneaky sneak. Bam. <laughs> Maybe not so sneaky sneak, but oh well. <laughs> yeah. uh, quit out this hallway before. Well, part of it obviously there. We did leave that guy alone. Uh, the splitter. Uh, if we went back down the hallway, that's where we fight the, fought the giant snake last time. But now we're gonna go down here and into the safe room. I do believe that that's where we're going to call this episode, because I'm going to take a moment to uh, sort through the inventory a little bit to adjust things, because uh, as I pointed out there, we are completely full up on inventory, and I don't like that. <laughs> we want to be able to pick up a few things, and uh, there's a uh, an item or two in our inventory currently that we're going to need. So, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like or comment below. I appreciate it as always. And be sure to tune in to the next one. It'll be fun. <laughs> Until then, guys, stay gold, YouTube.